Our city is climbing the national ladder on veteran owned businesses. If you want to support local veterans this weekend is the perfect chance to do so. Joining me now are Houston Veteran Business Expo organizers, Dave and John. Gentlemen, thank you both for coming in. Before we get into the nuts and bolts of this event, talk to us about what this means to the community. What this means, uh, Zach, uh, thank you for having us on. It means a great deal to the community because we are growing uh, the veteran businesses and uh, bringing awareness to them. Mm -hmm. So we're really growing the GDP efforts of the Houston economy yeah. here in the Houston region. We've put uh, Houston on the map for number five. Wow. We're gunning for number one for oh, veteran yeah. owner entrepreneur support. That's incredible. Yes. We are the second really largest awesome. population of veterans in the United States, so we might as well be number yeah. one. So the need is great also, Very too. Much. Need uh, is great. How long has this expo been around? Actually, it's been around for two years. We two did years. it last year. Okay. This year, we're going to do it the second time with the George R. Brown. And so we're highlighting and bringing uh, awareness. And we're inviting the public to come out and source and buy from a veteran-owned business. But we also added a piece to uh, for employment. So we have actually veteran-friendly employers out there exhibiting uh, hiring veterans. So not only are we creating opportunities from a business side, mm -hmm. but we're also mm -hmm. creating opportunities for driving the economy for uh, putting our ve veterans back to meaningful careers. Yeah. Yeah. Setting everyone up for success. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, absolutely. what we know is that the veteran-owned business provides more back to their community than most other businesses because they're servants at heart. You see it. You absolutely. see it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. That's really, that's really incredible. We're really a quiet group, yeah. and we usually put our heads down, get to work, get things done, and really we don't highlight ourselves enough that we are veterans as yeah. veteran business owners. So we're bringing that together so you know they feel comfortable that they can say, hey, I'm a veteran-owned business. People want to support yeah. the veterans, but of you've course. got to create the right opportunity for them to do that. Very humble. For people uh, interested in going out, what can they expect? What they can expect. So we have, a, it's a two-day event. Mm -hmm. uh, we have an opening ceremonies. We have breakout sessions for veteran-owned businesses to drive the economy. But then we also have a uh, two, uh, almost 135 uh, veteran-friendly and veteran business owners mm -hmm. out there exhibiting, mm -hmm. uh, showing their uh, products and services, drawing connections. Yeah. Uh, and sharing their stories, sharing their stories. Yeah. The stories is really a, the big piece of it, and then you know the and then creating opportunities to build a bigger relation business relationship. It's pretty amazing what you have going on, and the networking is provided. Yeah. It's an opportunity for them to network across the region. Yeah, the community within the community. Absolutely. Uh, it's also an opportunity too for veterans who might have ideas and they're really looking on how to uh, bring those ideas to fruition. Oh, yeah. uh, sharing their journeys or asking questions with veterans who have launched their, their businesses would be quite the opportunity. Oh yeah? It's definitely the opportunity from that standpoint too, Zach, uh, as if you're you have the veterans that have been in business for you know 25 30 mm -hmm, years mm -hmm. and so they can they can lay some of the groundwork and miss some of the hurdles or yeah. landmines we like to call right, them right right uh, right for the veteran businesses that are you know in the you know three startups. to five yeah. there are maybe yeah. startups 3 to 5 years and you know we can help them uh, get there faster and have a drive a very successful business and if you know you look back in time and do, there's a couple studies out there 30% you know, a veteran business can do 30% gr uh, greater business or have a better chance of success than their counterparts wow. because we have the grit we have the discipline yeah. where we show up on time we take pride in our work we're really the uh, structure the structure the of that veteran owned yeah. business they're really good can grow and scale yeah it absolutely all makes sense uh, I know you said it's a two-day event where is it and when is it it is uh, the George R. Brown Convention Center Grand Ballroom, uh, and it is uh, on the September 22nd and 23rd of September. So the doors open to the exhibitors at 10, uh, 10 a.m. on uh, both uh, Friday and Saturday, but then also uh, close at about 5 o'clock on both uh, Friday and Saturday. And before I let you guys go, Dave and John, I want to ask you, uh, you know, throughout your work, throughout this expo that's two years in now, what would be your favorite moment, if you have a favorite moment or a moment that really resonated with you that made a difference? Man, that's actually pretty easy. We've had some veteran-owned businesses come up to us after the expo and say they got their biggest client from, from that event. And it was changing their business. Yeah. Their, their business doubled yeah. that year. Um, hearing those stories, mm -hmm. uh, it swells the heart and it means that we're accomplishing the mission. And it, it's super exciting to watch. My, I guess, uh, from launches, from mine was there a, a business that actually joined us very early on mm -hmm. in the mission of growing the veteran business economy and, you know, growing the uh, Houston Regional Veterans Chamber. 
he started out very uh, small business, but now he's been part of the Goldman Sachs program. He, oh, wow. And he's like, and he's, he's, he's off and his, running. His, he's, off his, running. His, he's quadrupled his business, and you know he's gunning and really moving forward. And he says, man, if it wasn't for the chamber, I would not have had the opportunity to really in another sense, blossom my business and blossom my career and my confidence and things like that to really actually go out there and get the yeah. work done. Uh, so we've been super blessed in that in that sense in sharing those stories and growing the veteran business economy, yeah. growing the awareness and helping people be intentional to utilize veteran-owned businesses. We like to say we have one team and one mission. Yeah. And it. making Houston number one for veteran-owner entrepreneur support. Great work. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much.